if there is a certain problem which is commonly, let's say, let's, which every civilization faces or which every society faces, what you bring to the table is not just your individual competence, but a certain pattern of thinking that is unique to the civilization that you come from. Which is one of the reasons I strongly believe that even individual competence is significantly inspired by the culture that you come from, which is why there's a Japanese way of thinking, there's a German way of thinking, there's a Swiss way of thinking, there's a Chinese way of thinking, there's an Israeli way of thinking. What is it that defines Bharatiya way of thinking is a question that we have not answered or even asked for the last 70 years. So if I have to look at the next 25 years, what is it that this journey must represent? What does it present to, to us as an opportunity in this historical time window? And because I'm in an educational institution, I have to make this statement. It is a re-education and a rediscovery and a reawakening of culture, consciousness, and competence, all three. The model of development that we currently subscribe to separates growth and sustainability separates society and environment, which is one of the reasons that after having destroyed nature and civilization for at least 100 to 200 years, ever since the advent of the Industrial Revolution, the Renaissance and whatnot, suddenly the West has woken up to the concept of sustainable development, something that native indigenous cultures and Eastern cultures have always been familiar with. <laughs> 